Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to find the current students or alumni of your target universities using LinkedIn. Okay, now why you guys need to do this is actually a really important step in your application process because you want to make sure that you reach out to all these students and alumni of the universities you want to attend, of the research labs you want to be a part of, of the clubs you want to join at your target university so that you can learn more about what it's like to study at the university, the experience of a student there, you know, some cool things that you can probably put into your SOP to, you know, make it really stand out and all of that. Okay, and LinkedIn is an excellent tool for you to be able to do this. I'm going to teach you guys step by step on how you can find these in your, how you can find these students how you can contact them and connect with them and so on okay now there is a prerequisite to this video there's a prerequisite to you know doing all this stuff and that is to polish your LinkedIn profile first if you have a garbage LinkedIn profile or that means you know like an underdeveloped LinkedIn profile then they're probably not going to accept your request right as it is the chance of an ex chance of a request being accepted is somewhere around 10 to 15 percent so you want to make sure that you have a really polished LinkedIn profile before you guys follow these steps okay if you want to learn how to build your LinkedIn profile, I'm going to leave a link in the description to a video that I did that teaches you guys on how you can develop your LinkedIn profile. And I analyze my LinkedIn profile there as well. So you guys can sort of see how I've done it. Okay. So now without further ado, let me show you guys how exactly you can find the current students or alumni of your target universities anywhere around the world. All right. So the first thing is you got to figure out which topic you want to search under, right? So the topic will either be the degree you're interested in or the stream you're interested in and or it could also be the lab that you're interested in or the club that you're interested in at your target university right so um, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to search randomly for robotics okay so it gives me all these you know random people in robotics but I, these are not the people that i want i want the people for you know from a specific university right so what you do is you go to all filters and then you scroll down and then you find uh school right so school is basically the university where these guys went to so let's say i want people who did robotics you know i search for robotics here right so i want people who did robotics at uh, let's say University of Southern California. Okay, University of Southern California, and then I click on show results. So now it's going to refresh and it's going to show me people who are related to, you know, robotics and have so and studied at the University of Southern California. So it gives me like, you know, a bunch of these people and let's, let's click on the first guy. Okay, so let's click on the first guy. Let's go check out his profile. All right, so it shows that, you know, his education has been in the University of Southern California and he's been, he, he's been working somewhere else. So if I scroll down and if I try to look at his, um, you know, his education, I, I should see University of Southern California in his education. See, he did his Master of Science in Mechanical Engineering at the University of Southern California. So that means that, so now we know that, you know, he was uh, an MS in Mechanical Engineering student at the University of Southern California. So now all I have to do is I just have to request him either through, you know, more, you know, connect or something. Yeah, click on connect and then I'll be able to connect with him, send him a note and all that. So that's one example. How about this guy? Okay, robotics project manager at Amazon Robotics. So Amazon Robotics is a pretty cool company for robotics. I'm gonna click on this guy. And that's gonna bring us here to his profile. And again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down just so that I can see the rest of his profile. And I should see education, University of Southern California. There we go. So now I know that he, did, he had a mechanical engineering degree from the University of Southern California, right? So that's how you can sort of find people at people who graduated from or are currently studying in your target university in the field that you're interested in. Okay. Now let me give you one more example. So suppose you want to search for a lab or a club, right? So what you would do is again, you would follow the same thing. You would type the topic name, which is your name of your lab or club, and then you would filter by university. So for example, at Stanford, there's this lab called Charm Lab. Okay. It's like this robotics related lab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for Charm Lab. And already you can see there's some Stanford related stuff. So, but I'm just going to filter even further. I'm going to go to all filters and then I'm going to go to school, Stanford University and show results, all right? So now I can see, you know, all the different people that are associated with Star Charm Lab and studied at, uh, at Stanford, right? So now let's click on the first one and you'll be able to find, okay, so she was a student at Stanford University. It looks like she was a student at Stanford University. Just to verify, we're going to scroll down and then check the education. Right. Okay. So she did her master's in mechanical engineering, uh, or she's currently doing her master's because she's graduating in 2021. Right? She probably, she's probably currently doing it or just graduated or something like that. All right. So then you know that, okay, this might be like a good person you can talk to again more or let's connect here and you can just connect. Right? So in summary, all you have to do is type the topic name here, right? So topic can be automotive or something. And then you just click on all filters and then you scroll down and then whatever school you want, you know, you type in whatever school that you want to have so for example Arizona State University All right and that's it and that's it thank you guys so much for watching if you guys really enjoyed it if you thought it was helpful please subscribe to the channel we have a ton of graduate program related information every single week thank you guys so much for watching and take care bye bye